In this video, I will be showing you how to install the Dolph Saw macro, and some things you can do to make the installation go as smooth as possible. Now, the very first thing you want to do is you're going to want to go to autohockey.com and you want to download the 1.1 version, not 2.0 because that one will not work with the macro. So now once it is downloaded, you are going to open the setup and in the setup, you're going to do express installation. Once that is done, you don't need to worry about anything else. You can just click exit and you're good to go to the next step. Now, after installing AutoHockey, you are going to go to the Dolph Saw Discord server and go over here to updates where you will scroll all the way down and you will have two options. You can either download the zip file directly from the Discord or you can go to the GitHub. But in this video, we're going to go to the GitHub. So let's go ahead and go in there. And once you're in here, you're going to scroll all the way down and get the zip file, not the tar.gc. That one has nothing to do with it. But we're going to install the zip file. We're going to open it. And once in here, you should see the macro right here. And before anything, make sure you extract all. You can either extract all or drag it out. Either way works. But the reason we're doing this is because if you try to open main, It'll give you error at line 25, and that is because it is not extracted. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back out, click extract all, click extract, wait for it to load up, and then we can close the old file. And here in the new one, we're going to go up to it, click it once, we're going to right click, and then we're going to select run as administrator. Now we're doing this because the macro can have some issues saving the settings or doing some inputs and that can cause it to mess up or even go out of track. So that is what we're going to do. We're going to run as administrator. Click yes. You're going to have a pop up, a second pop up, and you should be good to go. Now, some of the things I do want to talk about with this macro is that it does have a lot of features and it might be a bit confusing, but we're going to go through it. So we have the obby right here, which I will be having on for the showcase. But if you do notice that it's failing the obby a lot of times, I do recommend turning it off as it's only a small buff. It's not really too significant for it to have on. But the most important part you need to have on is item collecting down here. You need to make sure all of these boxes are on, including the one through seven. Then for crafting, you can go ahead and turn everything off. It is sadly broken at the moment as of 1.4.0 but it should be working soon in status we do have a guide in faq for the webhook you can also click the question mark right here it will tell you about the webhook it will tell you about things it does and even the roll detection down here then in settings this is one of the more important parts of the macro and since i do have the vip game pass and souls i will enable this and you don't have to worry about import settings. That's only when a new version is released. For the asserted keyboard, you don't have to worry about it too much. Just make sure that the very first row on your keyboard says QWERTY and not asserty. If it does say asserty, like a lot of French keyboards, then do enable this. If not, then don't worry about it. One of the last steps I do want to cover is reconnect. It is very important thing that you have on especially if you're going to AFK at night where your Wi-Fi could go out shortly or your game could crash while you're AFK and then you would basically be losing all the progress. Pretty much all you need to do is go to your configuration to the private server, generate a link. If you don't have one already, you're going to copy it, go up here in the search bar. You're going to paste the link and then you're going to wait for it to convert. Once it converts, you're going to copy it then paste it over here and you should be good to go now we're gonna see shortly how it works and i will explain everything now that you have everything set up you're just about ready to start macroing so one of the things you can do to test out that the private server link you put is the correct one is with roblox closed you're going to go ahead and press f1 what this will do is that it will scan to see if roblox is open and if it's not open, it will go ahead and open it and put you right in your private server.
so now that we're in here it is going to click play for you and after a few seconds it will turn on auto roll as you will see shortly and just like that the macro has started set itself up and everything but before anything let's click f3 to stop it now what we want to do is we want to make sure we have a few things set up in the roblox game itself so the very first thing we're going to do is go to settings go to your camera mode and make sure it's in default classic you're going to go to your frame rate put it to 60 and then you're going to scroll down make sure full screen is on and reduce motion is turned off after that you're almost good to go one very last thing that i really do recommend turning on is auto equip what this will do is that at the beginning or end of every loop oh and we got no that's nice at the beginning of red or of every loop it will auto equip an aura that you select from your storage so what we're going to do is open storage we're going to bring up the macro click select storage slot press ok and we need to choose a walking aura because if we do a floating one it will break the macro and you will see shortly why so let's do divinus love success we'll click ok you can go ahead and close this and we should be good to go now so let's press f1 now one issue that could happen is that it gets stuck in collections and if that does happen i recommend trying to reinstall roblox or if you didn't run the macro as admin you could try that too and as you could see it got stuck on the little ledge up there to align itself if you do have a floating aura nine out of ten times it's just going to walk right over it and it's going to break the entire macro another possible fix and another possible issue could also be that your game instantly closes when you press f1 this is mainly caused when you have shaders or when you rename your roblox so the very first thing you should do if that happens is reinstall your roblox and as you can see it did the obby and now it's going to start collecting items it's going to go to the first spot grab the coin and just like that your macro is working if it looks somewhat different than this or if it's not going to the right spots either way please do make a post in macro help in the Dolph Soul server and ping anyone and they will get to you as soon as they can